Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad Taste of Music and today we are going to be exploring the worst clean versions of songs. That's right. Some songs just don't really need to have clean versions. I mean, they do if they want to be on the radio. Um, but being put to the task of making a clean version for a song like WAP, you know, Wet Ass P is, uh, is, is is certainly one... Oh, Jesus Christ. Wet Ass P Word. Uh, yeah, so a song like WAP, for example, they had this in mind when they released the song, so they released a version called Wet and Gushy! Wet and Gushy, and it is terrible. Put this cookie right in your face, swipe your nose like a credit card. Your boots, hang your coat, but this wet and gushy. And just to kiss me on this wet and gushy, not make it rain. Now, personal preference here, I don't find the word gushy to be very sexy. I think that that word in general, it just sounds really uncomfortable. It's it's vile. It's 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 a terrible word to replace it with. And in my opinion, I'd I'd rather just hear them say the word push pussy. I feel like that's less offensive to me. Yeah, moist and gushy. That's what it should have been. Moist and gushy. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's one of the examples. There's a lot of great examples. The first example here uh, that we have today is one that I was going to give as my own example. Anyways, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have a fun time here exploring some of the worst clean versions. So sit back. And here we go. First example of the day, the clean version of Stand by Eminem. Eminem certainly is one. Most of what made the original song powerful is butchered by the censoring and swearing or any reference to addiction, abuse, and the wife screaming. Which pretty much takes a song that's impactful because of the story and just like removes everything that makes it strong in the first place. As if the song is supposed to just like be a casual listen. You know, it's it, it completely ruins everything that the song goes for. So this, I think, is the perfect example. Why doesn't he just text? Why doesn't he just send a tweet? You know, I used to always... See, see I, was, I was... When I was a kid, I was like a huge Eminem fan. So I would go online and I'd look at lists of like best Eminem songs. And Stan was always number one. And I didn't understand why as a kid, because I, as soon as I heard this slow ass beat, the penciling, I was like, <laughs> yeah, so the story of Stan is simple. Oh man, I love you. I thank you for showing up at my show. Please get back to me. Hey man, you haven't been getting back to my messages. I don't know what's going on. I hope things are going okay. Just know that I'm still here. Hey, what the fuck's going on? Why aren't you replying to my messages, man? You know, we should be together. That's it. And then here's the final, the final verse. This will be the last package I ever send your ass. It's been six months and still no word. I don't deserve it. I'm in a car right now. I'm doing 90 on the freeway. I a fifth of damn it to drive. So here's the first example. I a fifth of. I mean, if you're gonna do it, like. Oh my. See Slim, I'm trying to talk. Hey Slim, that's my girlfriend. But I didn't the throw. I just because if she's suffer more. And it's a Two. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> so yeah, the whole song you're following along with the story, right? <clears throat> you're just following along, and all of a sudden, you get you just just things go a little down south. Whoa. Hey Slim, that's my girlfriend. See, I ain't like you, cause if she's suffering more, and then she'll too. <laughs> to take such a disturbing song. You, you kept in all the words that still implied that there's some really awful shit going on and you can put it together anyways. So yeah, it's uh this is a this is a prime example, a wonderful example is yeah, it's I, I don't I don't think it works all that well, so good shit, good example. The clean version of F the System by System of a Down is pretty hilarious. Her hearing Surge just chant, the system is not only funny, but it has kind of the complete opposite meaning of what the explicit version says. Not even sure why they'd make a clean version of this. It's not like the most radio friendly sounding song in the first place. Chocolate 
I think it is so funny because it's like, it's so staccato, right? Everything's so... So by removing fuck the system, it, you're absolutely right. The entire meaning of the song sounds like it changes. War! The system! War! The system! It's entertaining. It's a good example. If I had one thing to say, I'd say that the the system, like that you can still kind of hear the word fuck, which I think is uh, good on their part, because if you couldn't even tell what they were saying, this would be even worse than it already is. I think the clean version of Teenagers, Teenagers? I think the clean version of Teenagers by My Chemical Romance, Teenagers. <laughs> I think the clean version of Teenagers uh, by My Chemical Romance is one of those versions that really pulls you out of the experience and the fun of the song. The fact that shit isn't replaced with another word like crap or ish, but is just replaced with nothing makes it feel awkward and rough as hell for me. And I'm pretty sure that they used that version for on the radio back in the day too. So I never listened. See, whatever fucking radio system you emo, you know, bottom feeders listen to, I never listened to. So I never had this issue. So if I ever wanted to hear the song, you just go to the album, you know, where it's perfectly fine. Uh, so I, I get to go down to your level now. Uh, the the emo fans. Gutta, gutta. Wow, that is awkward. Wow, the flow of this song is so strong, and then all of a sudden it's just gone. That does hurt. If they would have just said, Scared living crap out of me. Yeah, you're right. If they would have just replaced it with anything, that would have been better. That's that's really sad. Boys and girls in the I mean, I guess that's about it. They just removed the word shit, but I gotta say, it's, it's effective at kind of ruining the flow of the song. I think it's a significantly worse version out of that. Goodness, scared the living tombstone out of me. <laughs> you can hear it. Any sister, any job, any broke ass car. Oh, oh. Which clean version of ABCDEFU is the question uh, by Gail is pretty horrendous. The original is already pretty terrible, but the line, forget you, has absolutely no weight in it. It also gives the so song the tone of an 80-year-old grandma with amnesia, not to mention the line... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> not to mention the line at the start of the chorus is completely ruined with this change. It's like the song already was an annoying, edgy, like cringe, crybaby crap fest. But I gotta say, I would prefer them throwing a tantrum rather than them polishing a turd to shininess and me staring at it not knowing how to. You know, the saddest part about this is if you think this is bad, right? It's bad, but if you think this is bad, there's a version that does literally the opposite of this. It's even worse. Burn it. Burn it. So it's, it's the angrier version. Oh, it's, it sounds the same for right now, but hold on. There it is. Instead of saying F you, it's fuck you. That's the change. That's the angrier version. So there's a clean version. And for those really edgy children, there is literally a version where instead of saying F you, they say fuck you. And you know, that's not even the worst part. That's not even the worst part. I present to you the Gales Singles Collection. The Wild Remix, ABCDEFU featuring Royal the Serpent, angrier version inv uh, inv including Chill, Demo, and the original, the Chill version, the Demo version, ABCDEFU Nicer, which is the clean version, and the original, all separately available on Spotify, each individually released just like this, to milk as many streams as physically possible.
from this terrible song. So this is what wannabe gangsters with strict parents listen to is one of the comments. So half of ASAP Rocky's verse is censored as it is references to, you know, swearing and do you want to suck my licorice and all this crap going on. Uh, the chorus is I love bad, bad, got my, got my problems. Look, once you get used to it, it's not that terrible. It just starts to sound like routine for you, right? I can imagine your first impression, that's pretty bad. But then it kind of comes along with the, with the version which takes away the words. For me personally, I'm so used to it, I don't give a shit. So I'm probably not the best judge of this, though this is still a, a pretty decent example for something that is so explicit, just casually being, you know, censored out. And just a warning for you, Gail's second EP is dropping this Friday. Oh my God. Hey, Jimmy, baby. Hey. Light, light. Plain version of I Don't Like by Chief Keef. Keef is a classic for me. They could have just silenced the swears like regular songs, but no, every single swear is replaced with Sosa repeating bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hold on. Light, oh, light. Jimmy, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's just trolling at this point, dude. Sneak designs that's that like a snitch. Bang, bang, bang. So light, light, no. Guess you're unfamiliar. The original goes hard as a motherfucker. Goes hard as a motherfucker. Great example. This is this is this is just straight up comedy right here. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you love him or capital oh my god what the fuck not sure if kids bop counts but they removed an entire verse from their cover of lady gaga's born this way because it talked about lgbt people i know it was four years before the legalization of gay marriage in the u.s and they would have had a harder time dealing with censors and conservative pe parents um, but it's like, if they were going to cover a song about loving yourself the way you are, but then remove a certain group of people from the equation, it would have been better off if they never covered it at all. Wow. That's a bruh moment. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my fucking ears. Is this the part, don't be a drag, just be a queen? Oh, no, no, it's the, yeah, yeah, it's, it's this breakdown over here. Is this where the breakdown's supposed to be? They just... <sighs> yes! Let's, let's make it so that nobody's included. That's equality. Everybody loses. Incredible. My name is. My name is. This one's pretty obvious, but my name is is uh, by Eminem. It has some of the most ridiculous censored lines out of any radio edit I've ever heard. The one that stands out the most is the infamous Kool Aid bar around the 250 mark, but there are plenty of other unintentional comedic gems in there as well. This is one I, I'm actually going to play the uncensored version and then the censored version, as I feel like the two are very different, so it is worth uh, comparing. Hi, kids. Do you like violence? Yeah, Want to yeah, try yeah. Sid and get fucked up worse than my life is? Huh? Mom, but I can't figure out which Spice Girl I want to impregnate. Since age 12, I felt like I'm someone else because I hung my original self from the top bunk with a bell. Move a fat pound of grass and fall on my ass faster than a fat bitch. So, as you can see from this, I'll just say from this small example here, uh, the song is designed to provoke. Clean version of the song is uh, is quite a fascinating transformation. Hi kids, do you like Primus? Yeah, Wanna yeah. see me stick nine inch nails? It, try to sit and get messed up worse than my life is. How you gonna fucking censor Sid with acid? My brain's dead weight. I'm trying to get my head. Uh, yeah, yeah, they say Primus. I didn't even flinch because I'm so used to that crap. But I can't figure out which Spice Girl I want to impregnate. I wanna. I want to impregnate. 
I am pregnant. <laughs> I'm impregnant. Stealth will say to himself in one space, chasing his tail. Kissed him and said, I ain't no silicone was supposed to be this soft. Oh. I don't give a damn. Dre sent me to take the world off. Ah. That's right. He recorded completely different lines. The lines were so explicit that he recorded an entire different version for it. And I gotta admit to you, I don't hate it really at all actually I, I i actually feel like the changes are smooth and he gave a shit there's actually another version of this song which is uh the band version which is more explicit um but i also wanted to make a mention that the fact that he had to re-record everything for a radio edit or at least that's what i assume happened um i feel like it must have been like a challenge for him and he actually took like he he did it with care um, and it was honestly really impressive. So, yeah, I think that's uh, that's worth mentioning. I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to say this is... I, I personally don't agree with this, but I still think it's an interesting example. I did one recently, and if you watched my video, which a lot of people did, on awkward censorship, there is not always examples of people re-recording to where it does work. So, when I first heard this clean version, my jaw dropped to the floor. I just won't say anything, I'll just let it play. Like that body of yours is absurd. Mother aha! Mother aha! It makes no sense. It doesn't. It doesn't feel normal or natural. It feels so alien and obscure. Why not just replace the word motherfucker entirely if you're just gonna do some stupid shit like that? My guess is this entire song is just a play. Like, like they're just, it's a move, you know, to, to be edgy. When you hear mother aha, uh -huh, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that song says the F word, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Girl, your body's so fucking hot. So, there's another example. Yeah. Uh. The clean version of X, X gon' give it to you. What? By DMX butchers the flow so badly it's unlistenable. It turns a song that never fails to get me stirred up into an instant skip. Many people don't know this, but uh, DMX actually made a version that's more explicit. I'm gonna play that one first for, uh, for reference. Many stations didn't want to play this version. It's mine. Fuck me, nigga. I'm fucking gay. Suck on my cock. What you hearing? What you fucking listen? Nigga, it's what you hearing. Fuck sex, go give it to you. What? Fuck me for you to get it on your own. Knock, knock, open up your fucking real home. Getting busy with it. But I got such a hard dick. <laughs> yeah, so that version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, of course the clean version is probably not gonna be uh, that transparent. X don't give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. Day. But I got such a good heart that I make the mother uh, one day if you get it. Yeah. You motherfucker never wanna know. Uh. Yeah, I gotta say, it's still hard. If the song still goes hard and I'm still able to bump my head with it and I'm still able to follow along, it's still pretty good. So, L example taking your soul as punishment for sending a bad example. <laughs> Vampire Money by My Chemical Romance. The change. So many My Chemical Romance songs. The fuck? The change just becomes so distracting and hilarious you can't really forget it. The song itself isn't serious at all, but the re recording of a specific word in the intro just ele elevates it to a whole new level. I don't even know what the original is, so I'm gonna listen to that first. Yeah, how about you, Frank? Oh, how about you, Michael? Did they say it yet? Song's kinda garbage, not gonna lie. Alright. Here's the radio edit. Oh my fucking ears! <laughs> I 
Okay, that was worth it. That was that. Was, I gotta say that. Um, I did not expect that. That was uh, that you got me. That was quite entertaining. You know, because I guess they're vampires. You know, I was so good at turning the chat off. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That killed me. I can't fucking believe that happened, dude. Oh wow. <laughs> We Cry Together by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was inevitable. Here we are. Before we get to the main event, we gotta go grab some tissues. Chat's already very excited about this one as they are reciting it. You know what? Last time I played this, it got the stream taken down, so I'm just gonna play my reaction to it. The world sounds like. Yeah, if it was a competition, I feel like this might just be the winner of the worst clean version ever. It's so bad that it turns it into one of the most funny fucking things I've ever seen. So, uh, good example. Greetings, loved ones. Let's take. Not sure if this is still a thing, but 2000s, mid 2010s, some radio stations would refuse to play rap. Oh. Oh, fuck that. Oh my god, and if a pop song featured a rap verse, they would cut it out and force you to listen to the backing track. One example is California Girls by Katy Perry featuring Snoop Dogg, where they cut out, uh, where they even cut out Snoop Dogg's Greeting Love intro line. That's not racially motivated at all. Yeah, no Snoop is kind of empty, but I feel like I've heard this version before, too. I, uh, look, this is terrible, right? It's bad, but it's, to me, I think the biggest offense is when Sia removed Sean Paul from her song. Turns out I might have been misinformed about this event, as it seems that Sean Paul might have been added on afterwards, which is even more baffling, as, uh, as you'll hear. Uh, but it's the same exact situation where Sean Paul fills in the space super nicely, and it feels so fucking empty without him. The mix of Sean Paul came out months after the original one did. Is that real? Girl, rock with it, girl. See Show ya. them it, girl. But a bang bang. Turn the radio on, it's Friday night. Just you Baby, and me. I don't need to talk up it all to have fun tonight. Control me and you, girl. You and me. Drop it to the floor. Hey. Can't any time you whine and catch it. Right. <clears throat> Even if you have problems with this track, the song without them feels like they released an incomplete song. Listen how empty and sad this feels. Come on, come on, you baby. Baby, I don't need to love it. I don't need no Come on. Come on, the song dies, man. It's so depressing. I'm just saying. Hashtag free Sean Paul, you know what I'm saying? Not sure if it counts as a true recommendation, but I'm stunned, utterly floored that Kidsbot made a clean version of Montero, Call Me By Your Name. The main kicker is at one minute in. Almost makes me wish the, uh, they went the next level up and did a clean cover of WAP. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, shit. It's a lot of dislikes. Is that I want to hold your hand while we smiling or something? We are fudging fudged. Oh my god, the kids bop version.
<laughs> there it is. That's what it was. Put a smile on my face while we're dying. <laughs> Door while we're dining. <laughs> you know, at that point, they might as well have just left in the original line. You know? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't mean it like that, you know. I, I was just saying, you know, to go into the with that crap. Look, give me a chance to explain myself. I'm saying that it's so bad, okay, that that it, they might as well just okay. It's not what it sounds like. All right, call my lawyer. Nigga, hope, nigga, bitch, nigga, bitch, nigga, snitch, nigga, hope, nigga, bitch. Stop snitching by YG is an instant classic. As the clean version absolutely pisses on the YG hook and turns it absolutely comedic. Uh, sign me up. Snitch, snitch, go. Snitch, 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 go. Snitch, the 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 snitch, Good example. Want a single say fuck that. Dad, fuck that. Y'all yeah, want a single suck that version uh, by Korn is absolutely hysterical. I always found the song itself to be funny in a way, but the clean version absolutely kills any weight. <laughs> well, uh, the original had by replacing fuck that with suck that. Suck <laughs> that, suck that. Y'all want a single say suck that. Suck that. Bro, this is off Greatest Hits Volume 1? Come on, man. This song sounds like dog shit. Break away. We got a problem. Oh, these guys suck. They check, check it to 10. I got home. Clean version of Sheck West's Mo Bamba. Oh, I know what this is. They used it for the NBA 2K soundtrack and it has some really funny replacement lyrics in the chorus. They <laughs> this comment. I got coach. This is terrible. Well, I assume the version you heard is different from this one, but this is still a pretty entertaining version, I gotta say. Now, I don't know when it's going to show up, but I'm just going to get to it now since it's been an hour and it's been the one that I've been waiting for personally. Um, and that is the first example I decided to check out on my own, which was Waka Flocka's Hard in the Paint clean version, which seemed to be for the music video, uh, possibly so that it could be aired on something like MTV, which in concept is already broken. And I got to say, it honestly, to me, is possibly better than every other contender that we've heard today. Clean version is incredible. I wish I could show you the video. Fuck I go hard in the... <laughs> so this is not a clean version this is i mean it is but it's the official video version of this song <laughs> play it again <laughs> so yeah that is um it's not even just you you hear the instrumental change so it was like some post-production oh shit we can't have that sort of like just oh get rid of it situation so what's actually said here is i believe like three different gang names or something or different like gang affiliated crap so 
Yeah, they were just like, all right, get rid of all of it. I feel like the clean version really helped illustrate just how explicit the original was. I was like, ah. It's just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. Break stuff by Limp Bizkit. This original song is by no means perfect. It's fun, loud, and aggressive. The radio edit doesn't change the lyrics. It just removes like half the song. Also some weird censorship, censorship choices. Censoring the word skin. <laughs> What's so funny is to me, like, Limp Biscuit is such a non-threatening entity, right? The censor it just feels so... Just so odd. Need to know by Doja Cat, the clean version on streaming services isn't, isn't all uh, that bad, but radio stations for my majority of white Midwestern rural towns censor it so much that it's painful. The part that really stands out to me is the spank me, slap me, choke me, bite me part, which in my local censored version becomes me. Nah, I'm a, you, no, nah, me, me. Also censors the entire what's your size, add, subtract, divide line for some reason. What the fuck? Daddy and Piper also replaced with an odd blank spot. Uh, what is originally an okay song because it's so much worse. Yes, BBC, you guys. It's British Broadcasting Station or Central or some crap. I don't fucking know. Right, it doesn't stand for what you think it stands for. There's no big black cock radio, okay? Stop salivating and put away your fucking dicks. Please. For a song this explicit and sexual, why the fuck is it even showing up on the radio? And I gotta say, man... Yeah, these, uh, these awkward just blank outs just make it even more uncomfortable. This is a great example, because this is, this is fucking horrendous, and I feel, uh, I, I feel very uncomfortable. What? 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 Okay, right, fine. The th Kids Bob version of Thrift Shop by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis has always struck me as really uncomfortable to listen to. There's so much cursing in that song that had to be censored for the Kids Bob version that it just makes it feel really silly. Confused why they even tried parodying it. It's not even a parody, it's like... Oh God. What, 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 what? Ew. Walk up to the club like, what up? I got a hit song. I'm so pretty about some. from the thrift shop. But like, hey, the guy on the marquee. Rolling in super deep. Girl standing next to me. Probably should have watched this. Smells like my baseball cleats. Smells like my baseball cleats. Wow. <laughs> Boston and saving my money. I am super happy. That's a bargain. Yeah. I'm gonna take it. Hello, hello, my ace man, my fellow. John Wayne ain't got no friends. <laughs> ace man, my fellow. <laughs> awesome. Ow, I'm gonna rock this is hilarious. I don't want to stop listening. Awesome. What you know about rocking a wolf on your noggin? What you knowing about wearing a. No, that this person literally sounds like Demon Dice. Like, I, I'm not even saying that as, like, an insult. That literally just sounds like Demon What you knowin' about wearing a fur fox skin? Well, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm... Oh, wow, you hear that? Oh, this is why you can't have... This is why you can't instruct kids to do anything, because you're gonna have to end up dragging their notes awkwardly in a way that's completely unnatural. Um, what you know about rocking a wolf on your noggin? Can find me in the... Yeah, you guys are like, Bradley, why don't you like Demon Dice? It's because whatever the fuck you just listened to, that's what I hear. That's what I hear when I listen to Demon Dice. Let's suck this pussy just like you should right now. Here's my neck, my back. I remember listening to the clean version as a kid. The whole song qualifies because it's, well, about lovemaking in the most direct sense possible with instructions about tasting the vertical seafood taco, let's say. Uh, well, as a kid, yeah, yeah, okay, you got me sold. All you ladies pop yo yo like this. Do it now. Good. Just like you should. To my neck. My bird, lick my poop, and my crew. Did they just... Wait, they just censored back? 
Am I missing something? Was Beck ever an inappropriate reference to anything? What the fuck? Make sure I keep all over your face and stuff. The best head comes from a thug. The dick good to the. They just say dick. Slow head stuff. The dick good dick. But they just said the best head. And they left the word dick in after all of that. <laughs> what the fuck kind of. What the fuck kind of version is this? On it, make it face Through the night, you might have Jeeva. What the fuck are these goofy ass sound effects, dude? It's like they're insulting my experience more than I'm already offended. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. Ex what the fuck? Literally, any modern rap song is unlistable if it's clean. That's not true. Here's one I'm curious about. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I, I I have no idea what he's saying. Niggas screw their face up at me on some real shit, son. They don't want. In my hood, the entirety of Massacre by Fifty Cents is hilarious. My mom would only allow me to have clean versions of CDs. Uh, so yeah, I thought that this sounded normal. <laughs> Good comedy. See, this is what I'm looking for, man. This is, a, this is a gem. Oh my god. The party took a shorty girl away. I won't give me a second. I'm a holla. I'm a super lord. Just don't know how to aim. I'm talking to have to operate. You run a light, then magic. Trust. Yeah, that's a good example. That's uh, one of the best of the day. I'm I'm shocked. You you can't even tell what's happening. You can't tell what the references are. You can't tell because like half the words are like the N word, right? Half the words are like references to guns. I and and I just don't. I can't even imagine what else is there. There's mother. You can tell what that is, but like half the song is just. I I can't even pull the story together. I can't even figure it out. That's that's a good example. That's a good example. <laughs> So when I was a little younger, the only albums I could get were at a Walmart, and they were usually limited, mostly censored too. Most albums were actually fine because I didn't uh, know what it originally sounded like. But then I decided to pick up a random CD, and it was hits for Slipknot, Antennas to Hell, unaware uh, to my poor self, it was the centered version. I'm crying. <laughs> what is the point when it's done so badly and it keeps interrupting? It's probably not the worst out there, but it's so funny. I can't pick my favorite between people equal shit or surfacing. Those poor songs got butchered. I can't even hear what's being said because the the version is so low quality like i oh. Bro, this this is what's supposed to sound like this is what it's supposed to sound like are you come on man <laughs> for just that alone you got like come on man <laughs> Wow, for a song, I, I I could just stop it there and say I see exactly what you're talking about though. It just literally cuts the entire song. It's like extreme. The energy is pummeling, and then quite literally, like I would have probably missed the swearing. Like it it just wouldn't have even hit me. But but like because it's censored, you're forced to pay attention to it. That's terrible. Oh, that's so bad. Beautiful girl. That's why you don't nail. Beautiful Girls by Sean Kingston, where suicidal is replaced with In Denial. I actually rarely heard the clean version on the radio, but looking back, it's kind of crazy that a song where the chorus is just the word suicidal being repeated became a massive hit. Yeah, nowadays, that's, uh, I, I agree. That is a very shocking thing. Radio Disney version. Say y'all, Sean Kingston. Be in denial, in denial, when you say it's in denial, in denial, that's when we fell apart. I've always hated Sean Kingston. I never saw the appeal of this guy. The fact that he has a whole song about how these girls are so beautiful, it makes him suicidal. 
I mean, I mean that shit already aged like a motherfucking like dog turd, right? But like, actually, yeah, that's about all I got. This song sucks. Uh. Purple Hills, clean version of Purple Pills by D12. The entire point of the uncensored version is basically a reference to as many drugs as possible. But since the song was a big hit, the clean version pretty much changes the whole verse with different lyrics. It's entertaining going through the two songs just to see how much they change. I uh, consider me in, uh, in entertained, or in, in, the idea is entertained, I guess. Volume inside a palm, it's Mr. Mischief with a trick up his sleeve. Wet till I start losing weight, till I see dumb shit start happening. So bounce, bounce, come on, bounce. I said, come on, bounce. Young, dumb, and full of cum. And I think he about to swallow his tongue. This substance equals cum. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the song goes kind of hard, but also it's kind of stupid, but it also goes kind of stupid. Which they made a video for with Purple yeah, Hills. Yeah, yeah. For the love of God. Purple Hills. I've been so many places. I've seen so many faces. There's to these blue and yellow purple hills. Who's telling you? But nothing comes. Wow. I gotta say. What the fuck? First time watching Brad stream, watch the VODs though. Hey, thank you, Ezra, for playing. On. I started a march. Once again, Eminem at this time was really fucking convincing at making these versions. Even here, you hear so like, oh, right? Like that's still censored, so it almost can convince you that this was like the original. Pits lost the chicken, lost the foster kids. Better ask around. He twelve throws the bomb is dash in town. Leprechauns. It gotta be. It's gone. Yeah, I took a Okay, well now they're censoring all the drug references, so. I mean, what can I say? They, they censored the drug references so much that I have no clue what the fuck would be going on if I didn't hear the original anyways. So, yeah, I, I gotta say, they make this song kind of confusing, but <laughs> even the censored version does still kind of go hard. No, young, dumb, and full of... Well, I mean, they censored the word cum, so... I guess you know how they intended it the first time. House, there's some hoes in this house, there's some hoes. The super censored version of WAP? Okay, you've got me convinced. Oh, they do. They censor bucket and a mop. Oh, yeah, they censor the word bucket. Why? My brain is short circuiting. They censor the word bucket. Am I missing something? Buckets are dirty. I didn't know. I just thought a bucket and a mop was like part of fucking mopping. And it's your put this right in your face. Swiping like a credit card. Nose is censored? Are you serious? I don't wanna. Mm, I wanna. Woo, I wanna. I wanna. I want you to touch that. Touch that. That's swing in the back of my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well they tried you know anyways that's it for the video if you have any more suggestions leave them down in the comments if there's there's a new topic video already out about producer tags but i'm gonna have another one after that it's probably gonna be a shorter video of that one uh hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you later